Shalom, the Lord bless you. I welcome you in the name of Jesus. Amen. Hallelujah. Praise God. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Glory to God. This prophetic word says, this person is at the verge of committing suicide. Jesus Christ. Oh, Shamanatosia. This particular prophetic word says, this person is at the verge of committing suicide. And this is somebody in your life. This is somebody that you know. This is somebody you've been with. This is somebody. Now, let me go ahead to talk about this. And let's let's just talk about this. But please let me introduce myself to you. Please, if you're seeing me for your very first time, my name is Ethel Betangba. And this is Prayer and the Prophetic with Pastor Ethel. You are very much welcome. In the mighty name of Jesus, amen. Please do not forget to share the video and also do not forget to like and subscribe. Always make it happy to share, like, and if you haven't subscribed yet, what are you waiting for, my darling? Hallelujah. You want to be my prayer partner? You want to send me a prayer request? Kindly get to my about. Please do not send me a prayer request on my website, honey, because I might get to see it quite late. That is why I'm begging on you right now. If you want to send me a prayer request, kindly send me a prayer request through my email. It's written there. It fell a bit back. Please, I beg you. God bless you. Now, suicide is, is a spirit. I say it again. Suicide is a spirit. You know, I think, okay, this is one here now. This is one here now. And exactly one year ago because it was this same month in the month of july that this happened to me i'm going to talk to you about the person but i want to give you my own example of what happened to me about suicide okay so this is one here now but exactly one year from now what happened to me is somebody stole a huge amount of money from me like a huge sum like about sixty thousand dollars or more you know, um, if I had to convert it. So I, this is somebody I took so close. And if, if you're watching this particular video, maybe you've been watching my videos, you might have heard, you must have heard me say the story. But to cut the long story short, I was into depression and a lot of people did not know what I was going through because I kept praying, I kept going to church and all that. Not until I had to talk about it and some people got to discover and they were so shocked, like, Pastor Ethel, you were going through this alone and all that. Now, no matter how many people know what I was going through, you know, they will, somebody can only pray for you and say, I'm sorry, but it's not easy. You know, this is money I worked hard for and it's not like we did a business. No, it's my money that she had it like it's. It's so somebody can be like, maybe it's not a business, honey. It's my heart and money that she took. You understand my heart and money that she took. So throughout that particular period, I was sitting on one of my chairs on the couch. And then all of a sudden, I heard a voice that said, what is the essence of living? Just commit suicide. Yeah. Mm. I heard that voice. It said, what is the essence of living? Just commit suicide. That's the best decision. You know what I did? I started shouting. Mm. I started shouting. I, I live alone except when I have visitors. I started shouting. I shouted. You could think that I was with somebody at home. I shouted and I said, I've been waiting for you. I knew you were going to come, this spirit of suicide. I knew you were going to come. I've been waiting for you, this spirit of suicide. I bind you. I cast you. I was shouting and I was praying. I was shouting. You know why? The spirit of suicide is dangerous. The moment you think about it once, there is a high probability that the thought can come again. So I shouted binded the spirit i was casting out that particular spirit i could i could feel like somebody was saying sorry oh sorry oh i didn't know you i didn't mean it that way so you know the way i shouted the voice said what's the essence just commute suicide seriously i shouted mm. i shouted 
not everybody has that capacity. Not everybody has that sensitivity. What I was going through, yes, it was correct according to the spirit. Another person would just be like, yes, how do I start living life again? How do I go on with what I'm going and all that? There's always going to be restoration. But you have to make sure that you overcome the process. I say it again. There is always going to be restoration. But you have to make sure that you overcome the process. If you do not overcome the process, honey, it's going to be a lot for you. So you always have to make sure that you overcome the process. But there is always going to be restoration. Somebody in your life right now is going through a lot. You've not spoken to this particular person for a while. You've not spoken to this person for a while. The person is going through a lot and the person is having a lot of disturbances. I'm going to mention different cases. One of the people, I see their name starting with an F. An F. There is another person in your life that is in so much debt. This person has a lot of money to pay out there and the person doesn't have. The person even confided in you and spoke to you about the debt. Please call them, check up on them, pray for them. They're about to commit suicide. Another person spoke to you about heartbreak. Somebody this person had been with for a while right now, the person just decided to leave this particular person and it's not been easy with this particular person. They spoke to you about heartbreak. God says you must check up on them. You must pray for them. They're about to commit suicide. You haven't checked up on them for a while now because you felt like... <clears throat> Maybe things were getting okay. Maybe they were healing. Honey, you've got to check up on them. They want to commit suicide. I pray in the name of Jesus. I cast and I bind out that spirit of suicide. Let it go back to the sender. In the mighty name of Jesus, amen. Now, imagine that I wasn't sensitive enough. It would have been a different story today. I'm telling you, honey. Yes. It would have been a different story today. And that is what I'm saying. You must be very careful. You must be very sensitive. You don't know what is happening. But the devil always wants to take the least opportunity to bring you down. And that is one thing you must understand. The least opportunity to bring you down, the enemy is going to bring you down. Suicide is not our portion in Jesus' name. Amen. Please, if this has been of great blessings to you, share it to as many people as possible. This is the kind of prophetic word that you have to share to so many people. And please do not forget to pray for me. Always make a prayer of intercession for me. God bless you as you do so in the name of Jesus. Amen. Now, may the Lord bless you, keep you, cast his face to shine and you. May he be gracious to you and may he give you peace. The shalom of the Lord, nothing missing, nothing broken in the name of Jesus. I love you so much. I do. I love you. God bless you amazingly and abundantly. Shalom.